this story time uh, takes us back to when? What, 90? No, not 90s. 2008. 2008. Whitney and I decided to get into the concrete industry. And here's a picture With of some us. Friends. Here's a picture of us in our first lab. Ding! And Lim, can I, do you mind if I give him a 10 cent tour? So please, gander at this photo. What you've got in the background is, uh, well, we're in a garage. Whitney worked for a... Um, I was the manager of an apartment community. Golf course yeah. apartment community. And we started dating and wanted to start this business. So I got a garage for 35 bucks garage, a month. Yeah. The electricity to get my equipment working uh, came from the light socket. There was one outlet. One outlet, and I hooked up uh, a heater for Whitney to stand in front of. So cold. And then the other part was for the mixer. Right. Um, we had all the materials in the back right-hand corner. My mixing station and buckets were in the left-hand corner. Did we have buckets then? Yeah, I yeah, like yeah, it was yeah, boxes. yeah. No, 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 buckets. We had a box, the right-hand side towards the front, is where I used to dump all the used concrete. And what we were doing in this company was... Concrete countertops. We made concrete countertops. Homes, apartments, yeah. con taught classes. Yep. John yeah. Hand Theater taught a lot. Of Ding! Yeah. Here's a, a picture of me teaching the class. Yeah. But, uh, and I remember that one night when we finally realized that we actually had to throw out the concrete that was in the big box. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> had to drag it bad. over. It was, it was bad. Our first job was from my best friend. Yeah, in California. Uh, and he lived in um, Vacaville? No. No, Fairfield. Fairfield. Fairfield, beautiful house. Yeah. And he wanted a concrete countertop. Thank you, Wesley. For like the grill and the whole bit. Like, and Jessica. Great setup. So he got, he got the barbecue in. He set up the cinder blocks with him and his brother. And we flew out there with, you a, did. with a backpack. Yeah. Built up the forms and uh, got rented a 3 cubic concrete mixer, bought all the materials from Home Depot, made up the concrete. Oh, couldn't get vibrators, so we had to go to sex shop and buy all these different vibrators to consolidate. I'm not even joking. To consolidate the, the concrete. concrete. Yeah, and they're like like two dudes buying like homeless, like this is for the concrete pour, and they're like, yeah, <laughs> whatever. Oh my gosh. So um, yeah, I had to go back and do that one. Actually, that wasn't our best job. Uh, didn't have any dollies or anything. We had to use rolling yeah. chairs. It turned out nice, though. Turned, turned out, out great. Yeah. Turned out great. Uh, I had to go back and polish it. Ended up getting electrocuted while I was polishing it. So, uh, you know, we were doing this other... We, again, we were doing this with friends. And uh, when we weren't using our garage, we were using their garage as oh, a... Oh, did we set. use theirs? Yeah, and it was very inconvenient for them. We ended up losing a job or two. Right. Because we couldn't get into the garage to go get the countertop that I had made. Mm. Um, so... B and B, which was two different yeah. families, yeah. soon became two different families, Belkwoods and Bitter. Bitter right. and Belkwoods Premier Concrete. And that was our right. first company. And um, I just remember one night complaining to Whitney that I hated concrete countertops. Hated making well I hated yeah. making them. I yeah. like the idea Yeah, of, yeah. I, I, I really do like the idea of concrete countertops, but the you know, Too doing long. a business and I remember it was just, it was labor. It was like contract labor. It was just all heavy, it which was cumbersome. It, it was a lot. We just didn't want to get yeah, into. Yeah, and not that, like I said, we do, we do love concrete countertops, but yeah, it yeah. just it was not. And we're actually making one. Where we wanted to go. You know, we're making our second or third one here, right. you know, just for fun. Um, but again, we just didn't want to do that for a business. And I remember saying to Whitney, I, I don't want to do this. She said, she said, well, what do you want to mm -hmm. do? Yeah. And I said, I want to talk, I want people to pay me to talk about concrete. Yeah. And, and I said, okay, let's do it. And I said, remember what I said? I can't remember what did you say. I said, nobody is going to pay yeah. us to talk about concrete. Remember what you said? I said, I, I'm sure they will. Yeah. So glad I remember this. You said, let's not worry about that. Really? Yeah. Wow. Let's just make the change and see what happens. You know, a lot of people credit me for starting this company. And it was really Whitney's idea. I mean, I was on my way to go to Target to fill out an application to stock yeah, shelves, um, as opposed to starting a new company. And I and, was nannying, and yeah, I was working for Kevin Smith. It was know. during the recession, like 
2009 is when we, you know, scrapped the concrete countertops and well, we decided to. We had B and B together for a while as right. this company. So right. B and B was still what Intelligent sure. Concrete was for a short period, and then we eventually changed right. B and B to Intelligent Concrete because the name just yeah. and the colors. And, I mean, everything we really went for it with yeah. Intelligent. So uh, yeah, it was. Um, that was a scary transition time, but we did it at a perfect time where no matter what you did, you were going to fail because it was right. the recession. Right. And I mean, I was also working at the university, um, like I said, working yeah. for Kevin. We both of us were working about three jobs, four yeah. jobs to make ends meet. Um, and we were living with my mom and dad. Eating a lot of eggs. A lot of eggs. Three dollars and fifty cents for our dates. Something like that. Ten dollars. Ten dollars? Yeah. No. Yeah, wasn't we that did. rich? Yeah. We did. We used to go to Godiva Chocolate. And each pick out two truffles. And then sit in the uh, food court in the freehold no, restaurant. No, not the mall. food court. The bottom yeah. area. The food court was upstairs. Oh, you're right. By the you're fountains. right. Right. We're by the fountains, right by the elevator. We play Scrabble. And people watch. And people watch and just talk. Yeah. It was great times. It was. Yeah. yeah. It was. So uh, that was the, the the really the beginning and that transition right. of what we wanted intelligent concrete to be, and um, you know it was all because we hated making concrete countertops. Right. Well, and just the, we had other other passions and things, and and John was a he was a uh, formulator. Peace. Well, yeah, for, so that's what uh, I did. And, for and a you really little. enjoyed that as well. So and that that's what I wanted to do as a company. Right. You know, we were both good at speaking roles. And yeah. So we started putting it together, and it was great. Yeah. So far, so good. I know, right? What's the moral of the story? I don't know if there was. Yeah, well, there's not always a moral. How Sometimes you, it's just a story. How did you get into testing? Oh. Somebody asked us. Yeah, John. so John went and gave his uh, first talk, which was not paid. We paid a lot for him to go talk, which that's, Whitney, that's just how it goes in the beginning, and I didn't know. So we sent in the abstract, we sent in a paper, it got approved, and then we got the speaking role, which was huge for us. Yeah. And uh, I remember the organizer said, okay, and that will be four ninety nine dollars for entry. Right. And I said, what? And my dad said, they're not paying you to speak? Right. You have to pay? So because I was a college right. student, we actually got me in for $99. Did we? I thought we had to pay the four ninety nine. No, 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 we got okay. me in for $99. And one of his old professors let him stay at his place. This was in, what, Mesa, Arizona? Right, and he drove me, yeah, so I didn't have heart. to get a cab, nor did I have to right. pay for public transportation. Right. And they fed me, I know. and I ate a lot of oranges for there. Like, can we make you breakfast? I was like, no, 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 I'm fine. I took oranges from their front yard that had fallen mm -hmm. on the ground. So oh, and, and she saw me and she gave me a bag, I can't remember, Dottie? I yeah. can't remember her first name, but she gave me a bag of oranges to take with me. Oh, that's so cute. So, um, yeah, so we uh, we went to New Mexico. Uh, I gave no. a presentation. Arizona. Hey, Arizona, sorry, sorry. You're okay. Gave a presentation on colloidal silica. Right. And um, somebody in the audience was making a formula, a grout mix, not really concrete. Right. With well, it was, yeah, an overlay. With colloidal silica, right. and they were just having all these problems, and they said, can you do this? And I right. said, oh, yes. Yeah. And they said, can you even test it? And I said, sure, I can do whatever you right. want. I can test it, I can make it, I can break it. Right. And that's how that we started. That was our first. We had a Fishlin <laughs> mixer from Home Depot that we had bought for the countertop class, but we needed a Hobart, yeah, which Hobart. was like $3,000, and we didn't have the money for it, so that that client were like, well, if you want us to do testing, you gotta buy us the equipment. And so she bought us our first Hobart mixer, which we still use. It's an amazing mixer. Yeah. She said, um, yeah, you guys take that. That's my contribution to yeah. your company. Yeah. And so. then we didn't have a brake machine. So I used to overnight brakes to my buddy who worked in a testing lab and I used to pay him like 15 bucks yeah. uh, a sample or 10 bucks a sample. Well, and then we found a place in Jersey to start breaking them, but uh, we saved yeah. up for, oh uh, yeah, I thought Cavs, did we have? No. I thought there was somewhere uh, that you no, were no, taking they never, cylinders. Okay, anyways, they never broke but we saved up Those for, were the cubes. No, okay, we yeah. saved up for a year and um, ended up buying our own mixer. Bought our own Still compression have machine, yeah. So, so it, that was a journey. Yeah, it was. Thanks, yeah. Patchouli. That was Patchouli's idea, yeah. wasn't it? Nice little walk down memory lane. Aw. Aw. Yeah, yes. if you do like what we're putting out there, let yes. us know. And if you have any questions, we're not joking about that. Right. We're really here for you. But for our few subscribers out right. there, let us know how we can help you. We, yeah, we really absolutely. love to do this. Yeah. So, thanks a bunch. Yeah. Go Concrete! Beat asphalt.